Now, I want to let you in on a little secret I was talking about. It's been the key to my success in the martial arts, and it also helps me a lot in life. I call it the code of the arts. This is the way I train my mind and body to work as one. See, the code of the arts is like a puzzle. There are eight pieces you need to have to put this puzzle together. You will learn them all. Then, you can become a great martial artist. Brotherhood is the first piece of the puzzle. That means working together with others, helping each other out, not criticizing or making fun of your fellow students. You have to keep trying. Stick with something, even if you don't get it right the first time. Martial arts isn't always easy. It takes years and years of practice. Look at me. I've been doing it my whole life, and I still practice every day. The next step in the code of the arts is respect. You must respect your instructor and your dojo. Cooperation. You should help out whenever you can. Remember, work together. Discipline. Discipline means showing up at least 15 minutes before class starts. Setting aside time to practice. Making yourself do things because you'll know it will help you in the end. You have to have discipline in your mind and your body if you want to become a good martial artist. All right, guys, who wants to spark? Confidence. Learn to believe in yourself. Don't be afraid to try something just because it's new. Attitude. Be positive. Look for the good in every situation, not the bad. Remember, you're there to have fun. All right, bow to each other. Shake hands. All right, yeah. And the last piece of the puzzle is self-respect. Remember that you're important and you matter. If anyone tells you differently, that shouldn't change the way you feel about yourself. Karate is as much here and here as it is here. I became a martial artist so I could develop my mind and feel good about myself. That's why I can win fights. So if you want to study martial arts to beat up other people, well, then you'll never become a true martial artist. Well, we're talking about self-belief, believing in yourself. Um, I can't tell you that you're the best person for this job. If you don't believe in yourself, then other people won't believe in you. So you need to believe in your dreams, believe in yourself, because honestly, that if no one else believes in you and you believe in yourself, then eventually you'll become successful. And success is not measured by the money you have in your pocket. Success is measured on what you do for a living. Do you really honestly like what you do? And so if you believe in that and put passion behind it, then guess what? Everyone else is going to start believing in you. So don't worry about them if they believe in you. Worry about believing in yourself and achieving your goals. And I do. I mean, from day one in karate, I believe in myself. Like if I compete, I believe I'm going to win. If I do MMA, I believe I'm going to win. If I do movies, I believe I'm going to win. It's just believing, believing, believing. That's what you got to put in your mind. And sometimes when you want something, you got to think it and ink it. Write it down and put it in your brain and say, yep, Think it and ink it and believe in yourself because you are your biggest fan. That's just the most important thing about self-belief.
Hey guys, some people say go after your dreams, but I say go after your passion. Because if you do, your dreams will become true. Live fearlessly. It's more time. Dragon Door!